Looking for tips on all things art business related? Social media for artists? Or one line art? This is the place for you. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel one more time. Today, I will be showing you how I use uh, Adobe's Express's multi-pages to get my work done in the fastest way possible. I know that you guys have heard me talking about Adobe Express already and you have already seen how I use the content scheduler to get to draw more, but I do have to create a lot of content for social media, for my newsletter emails, and that is done also on this platform. One thing that I discovered on this um, software is that I can do many pages but not of the same type, type of um, document. And by this, I mean that the size of each page can be actually different within the same file. This has been a major game changer for me because it just creates a workflow in which I can create a whole campaign, a whole campaign for you know three plus platforms and have it all in one file, copy paste everything into it, adapt it, export it, post it. It's so simple. It's really that simple. So today I'm going to be uh, working on a little campaign I'm creating for uh, upcoming holidays. In this case, um, Halloween. So I am really, really excited to show you how I do it. I'm going to be doing it with you from scratch. So this is actually a very much tutorial like video. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions and or if you guys want to have any suggestions of what I should do next, don't hesitate to write in, write it in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get to it. So I'm already on the Adobe Express platform. As you guys can see, there's tons of nice um, templates for you guys to use. They really do have a lot of, op of options for you to choose from. I'm going to be working with, uh, uh, it says custom size, but I'm going to be using a, a social media size, which is the one I use the most, which is Instagram portrait. And then I'm going to be um, creating from scratch. In my case, creating from scratch is something I do a lot because my brand is very min minimalistic. That's one thing. And second, because um, I feel like... Mm, I do have a lot of my own illustrations being an artist that have to go into my um, you know prom promotion work because it is promoting my art so I have a, a white canvas here and I'm going to be uh, starting with some photos so I want to go to photos I want to upload a photo I'm starting with my background what I'm creating here is is um, um, sale for people to uh, take private courses with me, and then they will ink, they will have a cut or they would have a like a discount if they do the Inktober um, challenge with me if we do it together. In this part, I'm going to fast forward a little bit because right now I'm making my base design, the one that I want to copy into all these other formats, into all the uh, these other sizes for social media. So once I have the base design, we can get started with the multi-pages. Okay, so this is a simple, very simple visual because I don't have any dates or whatever. It's just like a teaser campaign. So here's where the magic happens. Doing this in Canva would take me about the same time, but doing 
a multi-page document with different size documents inside the same file would take me forever because I would have to open new pages. Uh, I would have to open a new document for each type of size I want to do. Here on Adobe Express, I can actually go to add page and decide the size I want that page to be. Add page. I want it to be an Instagram story. I'm going to take all of this beauty I'm gonna duplicate it. Oh no, sorry. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to take it to my next page and I'm gonna paste it. Ha! So, as you guys can see, it's right there. I just have to resize it. And I have to put my. So, here we go. Of course. I'd have to, uh-huh, that's much better. And these babies can actually all fit there now, or at least three heads, not four. So I would make this smaller. And I would do so with pretty much every sizing. I need one for my Facebook group. Control paste. It's there again. I'm going to just resize everything to a smaller size. Okay, I need to make my background the same orangey color. I'm going to select all and then it's just resizing. It's resizing over and over and over. I do have to um, play around with the shape. So this drawing is is uh, vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate it and make it double. Make it some sort of pattern in the back. So this is going to be until the middle. This is going to be until the middle. There you go. And I can just flip this thing like this so that it looks the same. I can take my banner at the bottom or even better, I'm going to make it side by side. So you see the designs kind of change a little depending on depending on um, where you need them to be, which what their placement is going to be within your strategy. But this is a game changer. So I'm going to be um, explaining what the sale is going to be about and the drawing, drawing sessions as well. What are they going to be about? in uh, the description below the photo, also on my email um, campaign. So see here, it would actually be better if I had just a square, like a standard square. And that square, was it this color? I think so, or this one, maybe this one. Okay, ah, here it is. So. One another thing that I love, absolutely love about Adobe Express is that if you are an illustrator and you work on Canva, I mean, and you work on Procreate and you work on Adobe uh, Photoshop or in Adobe uh, Express and you move on to Canva, you do not see layers there. You cannot work with layers. Whereas here on uh, Adobe Express, you can actually do this. Ah layers so very exciting very very exciting all right so i think i have 
let's see how this looks being on top of this oh, I like it mmm the 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 skulls get out of the division and I think I'm gonna do that on my other pages so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna bring that layer up hmm. but I am gonna have to uh, crop the image crop in the shape there I like it. I actually like the first four much more than the other two. So I'm just going to work with those. I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to do this. Uh huh. And I'm going to crop. nice beautiful so now I'm gonna go to my next page I love how this goes over the line here and last but not least I need to make a page with a video thumbnail I would say a square just Instagram okay so, uh huh. This has to change to orange. I have to take all of this, put it back. And now I can make this babies bigger. And of course, bring these babies up because I liked that feeling. And I'm gonna crop this again so that we don't have the one. Oh, huh. Let's zoom in. Let's see how that looks. Beautiful. I can make it a tiny bit smaller. It goes a tiny bit higher. And I want this more centered. There we go. So, remember how I told you that this is gonna be easy? Instead of having four different, I made what? Four, uh, four different sizes. Instead of having four different um, documents for one campaign, I have just one with all my campaign sizes on it, with all my assets. So I can just download this, save it as a PNG, and that's it. I just have to post. It was definitely useful to me to find out this feature. It is something that I think does make a big difference when you are trying to create a big campaign for different platforms. It just makes everything more coherent, more cohesive, and actually just easier. Um, if you give it a try, please let me know how it went for you, if it did make your life easier. And if you want to know more about tips, tricks for artists, how to draw using one line art, more about my work and my video blog, please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell just so that when I post a new video, you get a notification. See you soon.